Hi everyone, this is Key. In this video, I'd like to share with you insights on the upcoming workshop, listing workshop, prospecting workshop, getting listing workshop that we're going to be doing in Kearney, New Jersey uh, on October the 6th, which is a Thursday. I want to give you a sense of it because you're probably going to receive a flyer or something from your broker and you may want to know what's in this program, how does this workshop work, and you know, is it going to be beneficial for me? Because at the end of the day, you're the one who has to decide, you know, the value uh, your investment in time is going to bring you. Um, you're not just investing in money, you're just investing your time as well. And therefore, if you're going to participate, you want to get something out of it. So I want to give you a sense of it. Most of you know who I am. I'm a mindset trainer. I'm primarily a listing strategist. I help agents, brokers, and teams develop what I call listing playbooks. See, a lot of agents who don't have listings, they think there's something wrong with either the market or with themselves or with their knowledge. And there could be a combination of all those things. But the truth of the matter is, those who do well have a playbook. Just think of uh, a team that plays baseball, basketball, uh, hockey, whatever the, the game is. They have a playbook. And the playbook helps them stay focused on what matters most. Well, therefore, if you're going to become a market-driven uh, agent, you want to have a listing playbook. And how do you start one? How do you get going? I'm, let me give you a sense of it, explain this workshop, and hopefully some of you will choose to be in it, and I get to see you in uh, New Jersey uh, with all our exit friends uh, over there. Um, the first thing you need to know that uh, this is uh, a mindset listing training focused on scripts, proper canvassing, um, making sure that you're asking for business consistently. And one of the biggest challenges of our industry, less than 3% of agents do two hours of prospecting a day. Actually, uh, half of the real estate agents uh, in the industry, I'm talking about the United States and Canada, half of them don't do any prospecting. They just wait for the phone to ring. So they don't do any prospecting. The other 42, 43%, they do about an hour of mailers and, you know, things here and there that will help them hopefully get somebody's attention. Uh, they do about an hour a month, which is not sufficient. But only about 3%, the... We call it the people who get the listings, the go-getters. They do about an hour minimum, but always they strive for two hours of listings. And prospecting is not something you're born with. We have this illusion in real estate that you're born to do real estate. Mm -mm. Real estate is a skill. It's actually a series of skills. How to handle objections, how to ask for business in a non-salesy way. How do you prepare your mindset for this illusion of rejection? Meaning when somebody says no to you, you don't fall apart. How do you ask the right way? We call that scripting. But there's a lot of misconceptions about scripts. People think that scripts are a certain way and you have to do them a certain way and that's it. They don't understand what makes a good script is the music in it. It's how you deliver it. It's a dance between you and your potential sellers and potential buyers. It's not techniques of manipulation. We don't want that. I never want you to do that. That is not authenticity. Authenticity is approaching someone who may have a need to buy or sell and realizing, yeah, Sally is the right agent for me. She's with Exit. I'm going to work with her. She knows her stuff. And you want to be known, and you want people to know you, to know your stuff. And then this way they can trust you with the most expensive asset they have. So 
you will notice that there's a QR code and there's a, a URL shortener if you look at it carefully over there. Uh, that URL will take you and show you all of the details. Um, if you scan the Q, if you pause this video and scan the QR code, you'll take you to a page of registration and more information. Or you can also just type in that short URL that you see there, which is WNJOCT6. Let me show you what that page looks like. It basically takes you to a web page, which is this web page right here. And if you look carefully at this web page, you will see that it gives you, there's a banner, it explains the program, it tells you there are restrictions, meaning there's only 60 people who can be in the class. It tells you the location and where to park. It tells you the prices, and I'm gonna tell you about the prices and the discounts I have for you. It tells you uh, there's a flyer you can download if you're the broker or somebody in the office and you wanna print the flyer to give it to your friends uh, to see, and then you have the registration. So that's the page that you wanna go to. By the way, the, uh, the flyer, this is what it looks like. Standard flyer, it has a banner pricing, it has the description, which I'll explain in the video as well, but it has a description of the program, it has the requirements of it, it has the headline price plus discount. So if you buy multiple tickets or an office participates, you can bring it down to about $80. And it has all of the links for registration to find out more information and obviously this video. But let's get into it. Let, let, let me get into the mindset of this workshop. Why did I design it? I did not design this program for every agent. Let's just be honest about it. A lot of the agents in real estate, they do real estate on the side. I mean, they have other gigs and they do a little bit of real estate or they're retired and they do real estate on the side. So that means the, the drive to be productive and make more than 100,000 consistently a year is not something that is at the top of their mind. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. Anybody who's doing that, keep doing what you're doing. There's nothing wrong with that. But I designed this one for those who go, you know something key, I'm capable of $200,000, $300,000 of commission or more. I'm capable of doing 20 to 30 listings a year, but I need to design a playbook. I'm not consistent. I know how to write contracts, but I don't know how to get the listings that I deserve. That's why I designed this program. I designed it for that mindset. So if you're of that mindset, Stay with me. I'm going to explain to you the program. See, the market has shifted. And by the way, the market is always shifting. This illusion that the market is static uh, is just an illusion. But there are facts about the market. In the market, if you learn how to price property right and ask for business, you'll tend to do well, you'll tend to do well in the long term. Right now, we have about 1.6, 1.7 million licensed realtors in the United States. Now, I'm going to give you a number that you may not like. We only need about 600,000 to 700,000 agents. That's all we need. Why? You're saying, but Key, how do you know that? Well, in the United States, we do 5.8 to 6 million listings a year. A good agent is capable of doing 10 listings. Can we agree on that? Like a good agent could do 10 listings or more a year, correct? So take that, 10 listings, 600,000, multiply that by 10, you get 6 million listings. That's all she wrote. That's all there is. We don't do more listings. Agents don't create listings. Agents work the listings. In fact, this is the mindset. Agents get listings. They go out there and get them. They don't wait for them to come to them. They go out and get them. And that mindset, by having a prospecting plan and a good approach with people, which we call the playbook, helps you do better. But you need to have proven scripts, proven conversations, proven follow-ups. See, the first conversation you have with someone may not generate the sales you need, but the follow-up has to be just right so that they go, you know, you know, with, you've been thinking about it. We're going to move. We were not sure which company to go with, but you, you sound tenacious. You sound like you know what you're doing. Uh, can you come and give us an appointment and explain your listing marketing? And then you show up at the appointment 
you don't blow it, you get the listing, and then you get working. So the mindset of this program is for the go-getter. You'll hear me say that a lot. Go-getter is somebody who does not wait for the water to be just right to go swim in it. They go swim in it, no matter what. They go out into the marketplace and they find their listings. They don't wait for somebody to give them listings. They go get them. And that mindset is not for every realtor. So this is why I told you this class, even though if it was soft and easy, if it was just a lecture, I could put in two, 300 people. But that's not what I'm after. I'm after the go-getters, or at least those who want to become go-getters and they want to do the work. So my workshops are hands-on. That means we'll be working in the room, learning script, practicing them, and working on them. My workshops are practical. They are checklisted. Uh, the handout that you're going to get is about 30 pages long. It has all of the scripts, but it's not just the scripts. I teach you how to write your own. And that's the most important part. It's not how to recite it. It's how to start creating your own. Because here's what we found. Those who can deliver a script and start writing their own, they have more confidence. They have more courage. They have more diligence. They do better because they develop the mindset of a go-getter, not of an order taker. An order taker waits for business to come to them to service it. A go-getter goes out there every morning fishing. They don't sit on the coast waiting for the fishermen to bring the fish. No, 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 no. They go fishing. And so the boat is going to go, who wants to go fishing? They go, I'm going with you. And that's the mindset. And you need to know how to catch the fish. You need to know how to interact with your potential buyers and sellers so they pick you because you have confidence, not arrogance, confidence. You're grounded. You know what you're doing. Getting listings is a skill, a developed skill, a set of skills. And this workshop was designed to help you with that mindset. When is the event? It's Thursday, October 6th. We're going to go from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The room will open about 8.30. Uh, I want you to find your seat. I want you to be in the room by 9 a.m. I want you to find your seat and so that you can mingle and get to know some people. I start promptly at 9.30. And then we go an hour and a half. We take a break. An hour and a half. We take a lunch, a working lunch break. Not a fancy lunch, just, you know, simple working lunch break. Then we go another an hour and a half. We take a break and then we wrap up around 4, 4.30. And then I stick around to take pictures and to take, uh, take questions. It's going to be located uh, behind, uh, well, the building is called the Copstone Building. Uh, it is located at 225 Kearney Avenue. Uh, I'm sure you could look it up. Um, and the parking is behind that building, which is at 208 Kearney. So, just know it's in going to be in New Jersey. It is open to all exit associates, no matter where you are. Um, but of course, uh, if you're in New Jersey, it's going to be in New Jersey. And the brokers in New Jersey are uh, sponsoring this event. What else should you know? Um, these are some of the topics I'll be covering. Um, how do you develop the mindset of getting listings, of becoming a go-getter? How do you create a proper time blocking what are the time block essentials of a prospector? What are some of the scripts on the phone that have worked well to build relationships so you can follow up with people? How do you approach them? What are the neighborhood techniques at the neighborhood level so that the neighbors get to know you for potential real estate? How can you use events and face-to-face -face events like open houses and other events like, uh, let's say there's a blood drive, anything, school, you know, back to school events. How can you create events to get to be known so you can start getting listings from those people who are going to move down the road? And how do you use this Bravo technique to learn to write your own scripts? How do you develop the mindset of somebody who can create scripts? So as you notice, it's very practical. And there's a lot more. In my classes, you will also get a special web page just for you that will have additional videos that will help you become a better prospector. Uh, you will have, of course, the handout. 
and I, I'm going I'm going to actually make you slightly uncomfortable. See, I don't think your beauty is in your comfort zone. I think you've always done well slightly outside your comfort zone. And what I mean by that, there are things you want to do, but you're afraid of looking foolish or not knowing how to say it or not knowing how to approach it. In this workshop, we are all foolish. We're all learning from each other. So it's a safe zone for us to learn. And it's okay to make mistakes in a safe zone. And that's why I limit this program to about 60 people. What else should you know? Um, it is open to all exit associates. Uh, you have the URL there. It is bit.ly forward slash WNJOC. Uh, uh, WNJOCT6, which stands for Workshop New Jersey, October 6th. Um, if you want to get value out of it, you want to attend the whole session, uh, there will not be any walk ins or same day registrations. Everybody who needs to be in must have been registered. I, I we'll probably will close it, I think, within a week or two of us announcing this, it will fill up. And, but there will not be any walk-in. So if you're watching this and you go, well, I'm going to go to that location. I'll just walk in and pay my fee. And sorry, that's not how this one works. You have to register first. Um, and you have to bring with you a mindset of collaboration. Um, you got to be somebody who is grateful. You got to be somebody who wants to work with other people. You want to be somebody who focuses on your career. And I want you to have this mindset that there's plenty of business out there. There's abundance and there's a lot of business for you. And there's a lot of business for the people around you. And if you can start thinking that way, you'll start finding opportunities. So keep that in mind. What shall you you know? Well, the cost of the program is $200, but for exit, it's $99.50. But we give you additional discounts. If you buy two tickets, you save some money. If you buy five, uh, 10 or 15, you can see the prices there. Um, it, it, once you pay, you can, if you cannot attend because you paid for your ticket and you want to give your ticket to another exit associate, that is correct. That's fine. That's not a problem, but there will not be any refund. So don't register hoping that you will, you know, change your mind later. If you're going to register, make a commitment. And if you register as a group, so let's say you're a broker or a team and you buy five tickets because, you know, there's a discount. By Monday, September 26th, I need you to send me the list of the names, phone number, and email address of the people who are attending. So keep that in mind. Um, I want you to know something about me. The thing I want you to know is I am very deliberate. I don't do this to lecture, although I used to be a professor of mathematics. I could easily lecture. I don't do lectures. I do workshops. And for me, a workshop is you work with somebody else. You learn from them. They learn from you. You make a little mistake here. You go, oh, but I like the way she said it. I just learned something from her. We learn from each other. So I'll set the tone on how to phone canvas. And then you guys will start working together. And then you'll find your voice. Because each one of you in real estate is unique. You do not have to do real estate like everybody else. You can do it your way. But there are some things, some fundamentals that you need to tweak to your personality. Anybody who wants to succeed in real estate can, but they have to do the work that comes with it. So that's the mindset that I want you to know. And like I said, I'm very practical. I don't tell you go door knock and I don't tell you how to do it. I don't tell you how to approach it. I tell you the whole thing and it's like creating scenarios. I create scenarios and you imagine yourself in them. Then you practice them in the room and all of a sudden, hey, I can do this. Let me end with this quote uh, by Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn said, successful people do what unsuccessful people are not willing to do. Don't wish your business or your career was easier. Wish you were better. M meaning, invest in yourself. Get yourself better. Get your mindset right. Think the right way. Wake up early in the morning. Go to bed early. Work on your business, not just in it. 
you know, you can work in your business, but work on it as well. Meaning prepare your day, have a plan of action, think properly. That kind of stuff will make you stand out. People don't want to give listings to those who are lethargic. They want to give listings to those who are go-getters. They want somebody, when they list with them, they go, that person is going to get me the price I want. They're going to fight for me. So I hope uh, to see you in Kearney, New Jersey. Uh, remember, it is Thursday, October 6th, uh, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. I can't wait to see you if you're attending. Take care, my friend.